again? I do yep, that all the time. time. I do it all the time. So this is Solaris. So, so, it, so basically it's a knockoff, knockoff Hylian symbol. Yeah, keep nice. interrupting Eggman. Go ahead, James. Never mind. You, you keep talking. Sorry. So this is, so this is how the fight works. There are two phases, one of which has undoubtedly one of the best tracks of music in this entire game. Hey, it's a good thing uh, we we'll see actual later. super form. Uh, we see actual super forms of uh, Shadow and uh, it's Shadow Silver. and Silver here, as opposed to the end of Heroes, where they just were surrounded by orbs of light. In all fairness, technically Shadow already had added super form, so that's already oh, yeah. established. But yeah, you're kind of right about Heroes. That was kind of a cop out. Well, yeah, that was a didn't Tails technically need super? Didn't Tails technically need super emeralds to get a super form? Yeah, that's not what Mania yeah. told me. Well, uh, also, but that came out before Mania. Also, um, also this, also this game actually has uh, super forms. Take that, forces. Uh, <laughs> this well, is now by definition well, hey, of Arizona game. Well, well, to be fair, to be fair, like this, this ending with a super form has become a cliche in itself. So yeah. I, I kind of don't mind the recent Sonic games trying to de steer away from it. Guys, don't there forget. You. Logan likes forces. I like both of them. I like both these games. I, I, I'm allowed to like things, Matt. We're I'm allowed, allowed to, like to like things. Weird, bad Are you things. All right, all right. Okay, next character. <gasps> all right, you're right. You're allowed to be wrong. Uh, Tagging. So this the, is how in the, the words of Brental Floss, there's no accounting for taste. So this is how. So this is how this game. So this is how the fights work. Um. Crap, I need more, I need better shoes. So this is how the fight works. If you want to swap between the characters, um, hit the um, Y button or triangle button to swap between them. You swap between Sonic, Silver, and Shadow. And as you can notice in the upper left, yep, true to so true to super form, you need rings. However, you don't get rings in this fight. You know, like, I... they actually do not drop you rings. Let me finish, Matt. I'll get you in a second. There we go, that one's down. Oh, this my doesn't, arm! This doesn't give you rings, however... Um, whenever you swap to a different hedgehog, they kind of the other ones kind of go into like a standby mode where they uh, automatically uh, like start saving up more rings. So Sonic has a homie attack, which you hold and charge with the X button. Silver can ha Silver has a much higher range and ability to pick up objects, and Shadow has the Chaos Spears. And that's about it. Must be his ribs or crotch. I think it's his ribs or his heart center. Oh no, you don't. Go ahead, Matt. You no, want to talk saying, really badly. Go ahead. Anyway, a lot of people make Final Fantasy comparisons to this game. Why does nobody point out that this guy looks almost that looks like a beast version of the final boss? From that? Kind of. Okay. Okay. I need. Oh, okay. I don't have some some relevance, I guess. Okay. Okay. I need. I need to buy him some time. Let's see if I can kill him with Shadow. Honestly, no, fine. Honestly, as I was trying to say earlier, like. Like whenever I think of Solaris nowadays, I usually just think of like a an animate version of the uh, Hylian symbol. He does look oh, like yeah. that, That's like, especially like with the later stage. Yeah. Okay, Silver, let's do this. And if you die, you go back to the beginning of Phase One again. Okay. I'll yeah, take care of this. Want. You take care of this, Sonic. <laughs> Ow. One, three. Can you make it? Oh, you made it. We killed a god. <coughs> Thank you. Well, an experiment named Wait. after a guy, <laughs> Next but time! Whatever. Next time, let a professional no. give you help! It's not over yet. Thank you. Oh, crap. Wait. There's actually a face. You were, saying, you were saying about killing gods? Well, yeah, that is totally the Hylian Again, symbol. told you to, to ask for somebody That's to give you That's definitely the Hylian symbol. That's the Hylian symbol. All you're missing is a Triforce. And Solaris Phase 2, one of my favorite final boss themes from Sonic. Oh, it's agreed. Bad. It's really cool. So once again with this phase, you're just gonna want to throw everything you got at it. If if a shield appears, if a shield appears like that, that means you're using the wrong hedgehog, and you should probably swap to someone else to try out their tactics. Just find the one that doesn't have a shield appear, and you're pretty good. Ow! Come on. Uh, nope, nope. We already one. established that, huh? Also, I died once. Many times, big tail. I only died like once, so I'm just gonna jump to this. So you guys get the whole picture. There we go. This whole thing yeah. still took about ten minutes. Mm. 
so, are there any like differences in terms of strategy between the first and second forms? Not really. He's just gonna throw a bunch of crap at you. Like, yeah. Again, like just yeah, just pick one. Uh, pick a hedgehog, and if the shield appears, swap to a different one, and just balance them out so that you're not using up too many rings on each one. And when, and when things get too hectic, just bob and weave. Yep, and just hold the X button for life. I mean, it's, I guess if you think about it, it's kind of a lackluster boss, because that's all that really happens, but I mean... I mean, the music's nice. Ow. Oh. Oh. You're gonna need to switch out. Alright, let's see what Shadow can do. Eh, uh, you know what? I guess I can't disagree with that. Yeah, the music's really nice. That, that's that, there's a reason why I was super okay with Hype replacing the final boss music in Generations with a remix that involved this song. Hmm. His world well, is a good song. I was also song. about to say it's not only that, but at least it's like, you know, this boss has its own problems, but at least it's a lot more it's, um, comprehensible. Think of yeah, comprehensible. It's a lot more comprehensible than the Time oh, Eaters to Yeah. You know, Although I will again. I'll, you know, for being a god, he pretty much sucks at his job. Time to release the ultimate power. Arr! But he, well, to be fair, he does have the same wavelengths and properties, but he's not as powerful as a real god. Yeah. Curse is. We You're need, gonna need more legs. Silver. Again, silver. Like that. Yeah, protect the feature. Ah! That's the problem is that he doesn't stop his attacks. Oh, yeah. Okay, silver sucks because all the rocks coming out oh. will just blow up your rocks. And also, the laser blows up the rocks. Would you say yeah, they're going to... They rock you like a hurricane? Ha. Huh. I would almost argue that with silver, it's better to throw fewer ones, because that means that there's less... Because there's less that could be hit and thus blow each other up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Tag out, tag out, tag out. Tag out, you're almost out of rings. So, this was one of the last games before Unleashed that had... Um, Ryan, what's his face? No, this is Jason, Jason Griffin. Griffin. This is still Jason, Jason Griffin. Jason Griffin, right? Yeah, it was. I mean, yeah, t it's not. It's like he didn't. He kept playing it up until Black Knight. I mean, once again, I will say, I, I think Roger Craig Smith is doing a really fine job as Sonic. Agreed. Probably one of my favorite. Probably one of my favorite little. One of my favorite little iterations of him. He's fine. Yeah, he's pretty. Much, he's pretty much got the cool. He's pretty much got the. How should I put this? He's got the snark of Sonic without feeling without feeling Narmy. Like like he can have other emotions yeah. besides snark. By the way, well, if you got uh, by the way, yeah. follow Roger Craig Smith on Twitter. He's basically Sonic in real life. Aww. <laughs> I think I think what we're trying yeah. to say here is that he's not he's not a complete dork, unlike Jason Griffith. Yeah, yeah what is Jason Griffith doing nowadays? Oh, I, mm. know. Well, I know he's still dubbing. Okay. What happened to what about yeah. Ryan? What's his face? Ryan Drummond. Ryan uh, Drummond. I, I hear he's doing more stuff, but I'd be I'd be gassed if I could tell you what he's up to. Okay. And yeah, I know I'm not I'm not, I'm not really damaging him. I'm just trying like, to stall honestly, for time. Like Silver. The only actor from the Dreamcast era I know is still working is Lanny Manella. Oh really? Well, What's she goes doing? without saying. She technically runs her her own uh, VA company. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, does or she? Yeah, yeah, she does. Oh, that's cool. In fact, she was the voice director for the adventure games and heroes. So yeah, it oh. looks like he's just. It, it looks like. Rip oh God! Ooh, jeez. Ooh. He's up the ante a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, it's back to you, Matt. It looks like Griffith. All uh, Jason Griffith all he's doing is just random stuff as of now. Ah, what a what a fall of an era. Yeah. Well, hey, just goes to show, just go to, goes to show that unless you're like a really big A-list actor, like the most you get out of VA is table scraps. Yeah. Also, um, fans of Rick and Morty kind of remind it's, the idea of this fight kind of reminds me of that one episode with all the uh, parallel timeline and dimensions. Have you seen that episode, Matt? Uh, which one exactly? From season two, when they fought the ball sack looking dude, it looked like a Langolier. Oh yeah. It's but, but the idea was that, but, but, the, but the idea was that they were having that fight all at once. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of what we're doing here. Like, yeah, we're fighting him in the past, present, or, and future. Technically, he's or, just trying to fight all three of us all at once. Why keep blowing up? Or like because his rocks are bigger. Or like that one episode, uh, not episode, but one uh, that one comic, Atomic Robo. They did, I mentioned yeah. this earlier, but they had a uh, they had plot yeah like shield. Yeah. By the so way, to answer people, your question. By the way, people, yeah. read Atomic Robo. It's really fucking good. Thank you, endorsement. 
and uh, hive to, just... to catch you up to catch up to speed. The reason why the rocks keep blowing up is because if I gather a bunch of them and throw them as a clump, all it takes is just one of those rocks to just nick the side of it, and then the whole thing will blow up at once. I give the general just yeah, a I just want to make the joke. And actually, just going back to the whole because his rocks are bigger. And it's bigger than yours. We did it! And then I throw a rock at him! And that's it. That's oh, James' lie. It took but, me so long. Wait, wait. It, it's like a uh, silver. So, how'd you take him out? I threw a rock at him! How'd you Gee, take him out, Sonic? It anyway. was a big rock. And, a, and James, a nine minute score is still an S rank. Bear that in mind. Like, no Sonic Google, level should ever be an, an S rank at, after nine minutes. That is not how a Sonic level is built. That should be like a D at best. Jeez. So yeah, that did. That said, yeah. that that that's it. These are the medals. I that that was it. The game has been won. And unfortunately, by killing him, by killing Solaris, we've just destroyed all of time except Oops. for Sonic and. Except for Sonic and Elise, for whatever reason. You'll see why. Yeah, because... Yeah, because actually, I don't think we really see what and, happens to and this uh, game, Shadow and... And at the end of this yeah. game, it wipes itself from existence. Quite literally, in fact. Yes, now back to height. Kind of that, yeah, yeah, Shadow Sword just kind of poof. Well, not right now, but they do later. But yeah, the, it, the like whole... Like, everyone kind of poofs. Wait, the whole, uh... The whole everything gets erased... Yeah, that's the only compliment I can really give this game. It's the same okay. compliment I can give the sequel the sequel series to Eureka 7. I love Eureka yep. 7, but I hate okay. Eureka 7 AO. Okay. 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 Good thing Matt. it deleted okay, itself. Yep. Yep. Yes, Matt. Yes, it is. Did you destroy it? I just need a second there to finish because they're about to do the cutscene. and I didn't know what heck Eureka 7 is. It's an anime. Really good. Had a really, really? shit second season. Oh. That's oh, okay. okay. I was thinking it was like a game. I was also thinking yeah, of Eiffel like, 65, of... the pop group. Yeah, when I hear of Eureka, I think of the live action series. Oh. Yeah, hey, different... look at this. It's a different thing. This is Solaris. The flame oh, um, real quick, I don't know if I ever had the chance to say it before, but the King of Soleana here is voiced by the then current voice of SBO. Huh. And Elise's eyes. Yeah, are you did too say that. Apart. And Elise's eyes look just a little too far apart. Hmm. Just a little. Who voices that's the issue? That... Um, I don't know his name. He looks like Chucky. Ah. Oh no. He's the face of Chucky. He has the face of Chucky. See, that's the issue when you have a realistic oh, no, woman yeah. and having an anime Scary daughter. Scary in my head. She she does have she does have red hair. So this is the part I... where we're supposed to be all emotional. This is the part where we're supposed to be all emotional and realize that the only reason why he wanted to use the time god is to bring back their mother. Aww. Aww. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's what no. she wanted. Well, they, that's what they both wanted. I assume, was, I assume was anyway. A, yeah, it was the chance for a second. It was a chance for a second. I mean, know, not the not the worst motivation for a character, but still, just kind of misguided and too heavy-handed. I think it, well, that I don't mind. I just hate more so the fact that she just, he just outright told. See, Oh, at least she shouldn't fucking cry, otherwise uh, the spawn of hell will just pop yes. out of her chest. No, so... de now, dear, oh, don't cry or you'll bring upon the apocalypse. And apparently this is Solaris. Like, this is Solaris. The real Solaris. And meanwhile, just Sonic pulls out, uh, pulls out a stick with a marshmallow. Bonfire time! <laughs> grab no, grab no, 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 no. If he were in character, he would pull out a wiener dog. What, uh, sort of, what 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 creature could have been the source of such power? Thing pops out first. <laughs> oh. Actually, uh, never mind. Yeah. So, so, okay, I think I think a better translation would go like this: Once we blow out the flame, Solaris will never exist, and our entire culture will be right, wiped from existence. I Do I really want to risk that? And yet, we will still have the parade <laughs> nonsensically. <laughs> I'm sorry, What's I up? love that line's delivery. I don't care what happens to the world. You ungrateful bitch. Go back. It, it, it sounds... Yeah, ba yeah, ba yeah. She's about to let the entire world die just because she likes being with Sonic. What is with her and Amy? If I had to choose between the world and Sonic, it'd be Sonic. There's no world, therefore there'd be no Sonic. Therefore, Long story short, the writers of this game don't know don't know how to do, talk to women. How does love work? 
How's a woman feel? What is Please love? Please blow out the candle. Thank you. And... Happy and happy birthday! And despite the... And yes, now Solaris doesn't exist, and yet they still have the Solaris Festival. Happy Arbor Day, everybody! Uh, Arbor Day celebration! That <laughs> Although that being said, um... That being said, it makes no sense, but it does lead to probably one of the better scenes in the game, and I'm not oh, saying oh. it's the ending. I'll agree to that. I actually do think this 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 bit is actually kind of touching, even if thunk? it makes no fucking sense. Who would have yeah, thunk? Who would have thunk? The who would have thunk? The first cutscene and the last cutscenes are the ones that are truly like. Yeah, Sonic. see, this feels like something I'd expect out of Sonic. And like, he's like, "Wow, ooh, nice party. Mind if I join?" And of course, everyone's all <laughs> like, uh, "Wait for it." Like, so wait, did every Whoa. did everybody? Excuse me, pardon me. So wait, question: Did everybody forget? Like just yes. everybody? Yeah, everyone forgot. Well, 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 everyone yeah. forgot because it's as if the events never took place. Like, Eggman never would have come here because she would never have had a Chaos Emerald, and thus Eggman would never have had a reason to attack. Well, right. okay. You know uh, what? It, so I was right in my Eureka, 7, my Eureka 7 AO thing because literally that, literally everything is erased from existence. Good. Although that reminds me of, like, I just imagine if, like, Right as everything's erased, it's like Ikman's still on his trip to Soliana, but then the memory race it's like, What am I doing? So with that that said, that's that's where it ends. That's it. That's the game. And the end of the cinematic. Now we scenes. now we must and now we must go to the Moon Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a friend of mine's getting married. But yeah, with that said, that I, I mean this and this is still so cool, the music and that looked cool. The first, your cut friend? Scene, the first cutscene and the last cutscene were really cool. Everything else in the middle is just kind of. Yeah, a little. I'm so yeah. touched you think of me that way, Sonic. So. Sorry. It's just, so, I'll just continue off the hype, Jeff. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for Sonic 06. Yeah, we'll just let the cutscene. Because, yeah, again, Poor similar Ms. to Shibir. Sonic Adventure 1 and. So, yeah, so, so again. Uh, what am I trying to say? Again, kind of similar to Sonic Heroes and Sonic Adventure 1. All the cre- You watch the same credits every single time, which just takes up time. Uh, Sonic, you hear his world again. Or no, oh no, you hear something else. You hear some other... Theme. You hear a remix of uh, the you... Sky Chase theme. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's which, Shadows, to be you hear fair, all the- oh, Go ahead. Um, I will let you continue, but I do want to say something real quick about that um, song that plays in Sonic's stage. I mean, Sonic's ending. To be fair, that version is actually based off the original track that the that the ending theme for Sonic 2 was based off of. Like, a lot of people actually don't know that. That's cool. Uh, you know, Shadow, you hear All Hail Shadow. Pretty awesome theme. You know, at yeah, least... That's a, good, uh, that's a nice remix. At least this actress got better. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh... And then uh, for Silvers, you hear uh, Dreams of an Absolution, an actually pretty nice song. I, like I love that, that I like song. OC. I like the OC, I like the overclocked remix of it as yeah, well that I found. Yeah, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Yeah, uh, and then, of course, and then after you hear the song, you'll then hear his world and... Which is good. Oh, by the way, how about you mention the thing you were going to mention? Oh, yeah, the fun fact that, like, we started this commentary, like, we started this commentary months ago. It was a long, yeah. long ago. Uh, yeah. And, and, it's, and it's funny seeing it how... Uh, with Hype and Jordy, like, we've literally <laughs> seen more development, more believable relationships, more, just, yeah, just more character development in us than in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing changed. Especially, no one grew. Especially no one... considering the fact that all the character development was wiped from existence at the end. Yeah, I love those kind of, I love those, it was all a dream, except Sonic 2 did it better. So, I'm just going to say right now, as someone who had to go back to this game and play it, I don't think it's, like, I don't think it's abhorrent. I don't think it's like something that I should just never, I should just forget about. It's definitely not a game I ever want to go back to, like, trying anytime soon. But, like, just for the, uh, it, there is some fun to be found in it. You just have to be ready to, like, get your galoshes and go into, like, some quicksand and freaking thick, like, waist-deep mud to get to that fun. But there, I feel like there is some fun to be had in this. The glitches keep, I'll definitely say the glitches keep the... Keep the, keep the experience uh, new and different every time I come it, back to this game. Uh, it, it, to quote Psycho Plays, or I think that is his name, a person right. a long time ago, he did a glitch video based off of yeah. this. And you're like, just usually that. I have to go out of my way to find glitches. With this, the glitches kind of sort of just happened. I stumble over them. And to, and to quote Did You Know Gaming, in their video about Sonic glitches, they literally just say, Sonic 06 has too many glitches for us to even make in this video. 
<laughs> yeah. Granted, they granted they don't even have to they don't even have to adhere to the YouTube limit. Like, they just are like. Yeah, I like that cutscene we saw there with uh, Knuckles turning away from Rouge because it literally doesn't look like they moved the model away. It looks like they just literally photoshopped the model backwards and walk away. Yeah. So Matt, since you're in the mood to talk for a second, tell us your thoughts about the game. Uh, I. It, it's horrible. It's a horrible, god awful, no good, very bad game, and I love it. It is shit, and I love it. It's the room of video games. I can see that. I don't know if I go that far. I don't know. It's 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 horrible. But the one thing I just love how incomprehensibly stupid it is. Like the story, the characters, the gameplay, the glitches. My God, the glitches. But yeah. Yeah. But we still, but we have, we find ourselves coming back to it and bring it. Like I'll say this: the game is memorable. Yeah. Hey, for all the wrong reasons. But it's, yeah, it, it's infamous. But let it, let it be fair. This, like there are some Zelda games I forget about. There are some. There are even some Mario games I forget about. Oh, this is, this is the part where I realize, oh crap, move the analog stick because no. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> but no, like there there are some. But there's this is a song game I will never forget. The internet, no, the world will never let us or Sega forget about it. Yeah, uh, it, Jordan, it's, a, it's a basically it's a black scene. basically right. somebody take that scene from Futurama with the fifty foot with the fifty foot statue of Bender going, "Remember me,", Remember me. <sighs> and, that's and just replace the head with Sonic 06. And then Jordy, how about you? Anyway, um, Honey? Uh, sorry, <laughs> trying to get my thoughts out there. Um. But I remember hearing about this game through a friend, and I got this one pretty, pretty late. And, you know, I did hear bad things about it, but I actually did want to get it. And I'm actually glad that I did, because then I could actually experience all the difficulties, all the glitches and whatnot. But overall, even though I do think this is one of the most difficult and not so well-developed games out there, I find this one to be pretty memorable. And I think that is a good trait to have. Even though it might not be the best, it's still memorable in some good ways. And I I don't, just like you, Logan, I wouldn't go back to it, like, you know, on a, like, religiously or as often. But if I were to visit it again and, you know, just, like, replay it for kicks, I'd be like, oh, yeah, memories. Or even watch cutscenes for memories, you know? Yeah. Uh, hi, how about you? Up here comes the trauma. Actually, I think I'll, <laughs> Actually, I think I'll let James go before me this time. All right, James. Based on our experiences, how is Sonic Mania? <laughs> Save the worst for last. I see. Okay, right, then. I mean, honestly, four what kids. Can I say that it, four kids. Yes. Yes. Four well, kids, everybody. They're they are out of business now. You hear? Yeah. Anyway, um, Where's just yours? honestly, what could I really say that everyone else here hasn't said? Like, it's. This is what this is very infamous and for good reason. It's so poor. It it's just a mishmash of poor design and poor thought planning and poor everything kind of sorta. At the same time though, like honestly, unlike say Sonic Forces, which I just find mediocre, like it feels bad. I feel bad about about it because this game it has elements that could have been made into a good game. It just gets gets squandered by everything else and. Honestly, I'm just gonna be lazy and pull, and pull a, uh, some call me Johnny opinion because honestly, I feel the exact same way. If I'm the only good bits I can think about with this game are just with if I'm ever playing as Sonic or Blaze. If I'm playing as anyone else, then honestly, this is easily like the worst thing I've ever played out of the franchise. It, th this game is an example of ambition gone wrong. Exactly. Yeah, all these cool and, ideas. and probably the worst sense. thing that could come from from Sega Sega trying so hard to crunch down a uh, a uh, time frame. Also. Yep. Also, Up until they did it again with Night's Journey of Dreams. Uh, yeah. Also. Well, came, which was which is co coincidentally came out like a year later. Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. No, no, no. Okay, what were you gonna no, say? No, 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 actually, I was gonna say I'm so sorry, Matt. But before I forget again, hi, your thoughts. Well, I've never really played the game myself, so I can't really speak from a gameplay standpoint. I only have like secondhand opinions and the footage on YouTube to really grasp an opinion of it. The only other thing I will say is that it's really kind of an oddity, and it's one of those oddities I've discovered over the years where it's like, it's made it very apparent that people do not like this game. They really hate this game, no less. Like, people say it's like, not even just one of the worst side games ever made, probably one of the worst games ever made, period. 
then why do people still keep playing it and tell people to play it? That's all yeah, that, but I mean, I have fun with this game, but yeah, really, seriously, if you stuck through this whole thing, more power to you. Uh, as always, I've been Lucky Jack 20. I'm Jay's main stream. I've been drawing the Cat 11. Ronnie J, get the fuck out of here. And I have new materials for when me and Jordan have private calls. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. TMI, but man. Now, TMI. Oh, but that's the thing about just, endings. Yeah, they we come just need to hope that they'll be good. Oh, we can we watch it Sonic again? Oh, but we just saw it. Maybe no. tomorrow. Yeah, hey, no, what are you guys doing? doing? I know, but they, I've got a good 3D. You didn't one tell me you were watching the movie? Have good, I like, want to watch too. Maybe you're just going to have to rewind it. Ma, Uncle Max, we're going to watch the movie. Oh, no. Hey, I brought extra butter. Hey, you guys are watching the movie? <laughs> Any story worth telling is worth telling twice. What the? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of the way. Who is this crowd? Hey, down in front. Oh, oh. I love Watch it. Okay, buddy, you win. Sure you don't mind. Hakuna Matata. Shh. Uh, Timon, I still don't do so well in crowds. Oh, no.